What I did want to just show you is, and I had this discussion with my sister this week, uh, composition. I just ignored the bits around here, and I probably don't even need them. And she said, well, why don't you just crop it? You know, but do think about how you place your subject, your main subject, on the paper. And I know I've said this before. Uh, and do consider that you leave a little bit around it that you can treat as the setting. Right. Now, this is, I've actually drawn the back of the plate through the fruit. Can you see that? It's going through that piece of orange. The back of this, what I would call is an ellipse, okay? And all your plates, if you've got your fruit on a plate, will be an ellipse. They won't be circular, although they are in reality circular. Are, are you able to see this? I'm sorry, I can't do much more than show it like this. Um, it is really important, I think, in order to achieve the correct curve at the front, that you draw the back of it, you know, even at this stage. And, and the rules with an ellipse are that they are, it's a symmetrical shape. So if I drew a line through the middle of this ellipse, like I'm doing now in my drawing, okay, can you see that line going across? that part of the ellipse should match the back part of the ellipse. And the only reason you need to know this is where the curve actually comes, the fruit here is coming round and then the plate is coming round here into the front. Now, I think some of you do, did have problems with your, the drawing of your bowls when you were looking down into them. And this is a useful thing to do is to draw in the complete ellipse, even taking it through whatever you've got in the bowl, you can then rub it out before you come to paint it. But it will show you whether or not the thing actually does look elliptical. Uh, and it's, it, it, it only really is important where the plate comes into view, like this fruit here. I'm going to do my lines quite heavily so you can see it. But that's the back of the, the front edge of this orange at the back. This is where the bowl comes round and then comes round in the front here. It's coming in front of this orange at the front, this front orange, and the, 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 the actual bottom of the, the orange is concealed by the front of the plate. Uh, and then it goes round. This is the bottom of the other orange. And what I've drawn is the back of my plate going cutting through all three of them, so that I'm checking to make sure I have drawn that curve correctly. That's all, that's all I'm saying. <sighs> Please stop and ask me something if you want to. I, I can demonstrate for you. I don't have to be doing on, working on my own. I can just turn over a piece of paper and show you. It's not a problem.
Now, I know I only said you could use two colours to start off with, but if you want to use a whole range of other colours in your subject, you please feel free to do so. That was just the exercise at the beginning. Thank you. 